Hi, welcome to Geno's Finds. This is just some of the items you'll be seeing in today's video. A Florida Gators trailer hitch cover, a Chicago Bears neon light, a Vivitar camera, a Generator Rex action figure, and a Starbucks mug. If you want to know why I picked these items and how much I paid, stay tuned. Well, it's a gloomy, rainy day today. It's a perfect day for thrifting, so I think I'm going to go hit about two or three Goodwills and maybe a Salvation Army. So let's go see what we can find together. Follow me. I usually have pretty good luck at this Goodwill. Let's hope it continues today. It was cloudy early and a lot of rain, but it looks pretty clear now. But I want to get inside before the rain starts. So let's have the magical doors open and the journey will continue. I started my search on the glassware aisle. Usually I can find some good stuff, but as you can see, this is pretty much junk. And then I noticed this sticker on this red cup and behind the sticker was a Starbucks logo. I knew right away it was a 16 ounce glass because I buy them so much. It was dated 2015, so I put it in a cart and I was gonna look it up later. Hi, I made this time jump so I could go over the Starbucks mugs with you. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them because I've discussed it in another video. But the best way to buy a Starbucks mug is to buy their city mugs. They're called You Are Here mugs. It's the whole line of their mugs. They, every city that you drink in, it'll have the name of the city on it. You'll have like Miami, New York, Los Angeles. If you go overseas, you'll get Tokyo, Paris, London. So if you see any of those mugs, make sure you look them up because some of them are worth hundreds of dollars. So I hope that was helpful. Now back to the video. So I continued to search through this aisle. As you can probably see, there wasn't much to search through. Some pots and pans and forks. Nothing much. This mug. It was time to go to the next aisle. After only finding the mug on the other aisle, I had higher hopes for this aisle. And then I spotted this ink cartridge. And you guys know, if you've been watching my videos, how much I like ink cartridges. It was $5.99, so I put it in a tray and I was going to look it up later. I wanted to do an update on the ink cartridge. We just saw it in the video. It sold already. I came home within an hour, it was sold. I bought it for $5.95. It sold for $44.95 plus $4.95 shipping. That's why you always have to look up these ink cartridges when you see them. You can end up making a pretty big score, and today was one of them. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Now let's get back to the video. I figured I would finish searching this aisle. These cables were ridiculously high, by the way. And then I'd go to the toy aisle, and after that I'd head to another store. This toy aisle only had one side. The other side was empty. I guess Goodwill's going through a restocking phase, which is good for me because next week there'll be a lot more to search through. As I was moving along this aisle, I noticed this toy. It was called Generator Rex. It was $1.98, $1.99. And I was going to give it a shot. And I tried looking it up. I couldn't find out what it was. So I said, I'll save it for later. And I moved on. Well, here we are at the next Goodwill. It's a little fancier one. It's their Goodwill retail store. It's not a Goodwill outlet, but they do have a few aisles of stuff where you can still get some good bargains. I don't come here that often because I'm usually not at this end of town, but I'm here today. So let's go inside and see what we can find. I walked right over to my favorite aisle. But just like at the other store, these aisles had had most of their stuff removed. Must have been cleanup day at the Goodwill. 
I guess they were going to put out all new stuff soon. This aisle really had nothing, just remnants of plates and stuff. And I guess they hadn't gotten to their frame aisle to empty that. But there was nothing to choose from. Nothing that I was interested in anyway. This next aisle, it was just covered with used old video equipment, CDs, VHS players by Philips, by Emerson, by Sony. I just don't know enough about old equipment like that to take a, a chance with it. I picked up a, looked up a few items, but I didn't know whether it was a good or bad buy. This Pioneer I had heard of, but they were asking 59 bucks. I couldn't, I couldn't take the risk with that, and especially not knowing enough about electronics. But I did see this Vivitar camera. It's a T200, I've sold them before. It's good shape. I noticed in the box that uh, they even had the instructions. So for $3.98, it was going home with me. I'm making this time jump. Now don't laugh. <laughs> I told you not to laugh. When I got home and opened up the Vivitar camera and checked the battery compartment, I found out it was all corroded. The acid had ruined it. I tried new batteries. The flash is ruined, which means the camera's ruined. So luckily, I'm only out $3.98, but it's still a stupid mistake. So learn from my errors. When you get something at a garage sale, a thrift store, open it, check it, make sure it works before you buy it. Well, I hope that helps. Now back to the video. The rest of this aisle was just more and more old audio equipment. So I just went to a more familiar aisle. On the way to the next style, I stopped at this end cap. It looked interesting. There was a lot of, looked like valuable stuff. And I saw these dogs, they were cheaply made. I knew right away this was one of those treasured memories. It's by UNESCO, they wanted 596. It's a music box. There's a lot of them out there right now, so I passed on it. This tractor was made of resin, and that usually means junk. And then this figure made in Japan, $7.98. I mean, that's what it would go for retail. So this end cap was a bust. Well, it was almost lunchtime, and I wasn't finding much anyway. So I thought I'd go up to the cash register, pay for this camera, and then go eat a nice lunch. If you guys want to come, remember, the guy with the camera eats for free. Yesterday I went to lunch and I thought I'd just call it quits. So this is day two and I'm back at that same Goodwill that they were restocking the shelves. So let's go see what we can find. This is the aisle that was empty yesterday. They really stocked it. They put all these ceramic figures. But if you notice, most of them are those treasured moments with I which I discussed with you guys yesterday. They're all over the place with all the goodwills. Here's another one. They're not going for the money that they're showing there. And it's just, they're flooding the market again. Here's another one. I can spot them because I buy them a lot and see them a lot. In the back, you got a Precious Moments. And we've discussed in a previous video how they've been saturated in the market. I almost knocked over that little vase and broke it. So let's just, no one heard that. Let's move on. And we have more of these ceramics. They're cute, but there's not enough, there's not enough value in them for me to make money. Then I saw this dog, thought it might've been something, but I picked it up, it was very light, very cheap. Uh, it wasn't worth much. I put it back. 
this couch. I said, oh, a ceramic couch. It's a ring holder. You put your rings in there. And we kept moving on. More ceramics. Even though I didn't buy anything on this road, I was still excited to see what other stuff they had put out. So I headed right over to the next row. On this next tile, I found this Chicago Bears neon light. It was shaped like a football helmet. It was only $4.99. Notice it's missing the power supply. I knew it would go for a lot more than that, so I put that in the cart. Then right underneath it, I had never seen one of these before. It was a Florida Gators trailer hitch cover. It was only $2.99. It was brand new in a box, so I put that in a card also. I went back to take one more look where I found the Chicago Bears neon light, and look what I found. Yep, the power supply. That was a lucky find. And now that's all that's left to do is for me to go up to the cashier, pay for this stuff, and call it a day. So if you enjoyed our little adventure, I hope you don't forget to click the subscribe button and hopefully you'll share this video with a friend. Till next time, happy hunting.